Hey, how's it going? Bible Digger here. And I'm just going to do a quick video here about what is the best Bible highlighter? What has no see through and no bleed through? Well, we have found the best one that has neither. And in some of them, you'll get a little bit of see through. And in some of them, you'll just get a little bit of bleed through. But there's one I found where you get neither one. Now, uh, in the home in here, real thin paper, really thin, really see-through. So this is perfect to test any any one of your markers. Now this here has been highlighted on the other side with a zebra, a zebrite. And I like these zebrites because they highlight really bright. But you can see through a little bit. Now in this Bible with the Zebrite, see if I can find one. With the Zebrite in this Bible, I can't find anything. Is this it? With the Zebrite in this Bible, you can't see through. See? Now let's look at this one. Let's look at the other side. Very little. It shows up on camera. I can't really see it with the naked eye. Okay. This is the CBP New Testament. The paper's a little thicker. It's a different consistency. But that's not really noticeable there. All right, but with this one again, they are really bright and they leave the text really bold, but it does bleed through and show through, not really bleed through. And uh, I just wanted to go over a couple of things. The best highlighter I found was the pastel. They're really true to the name. They're the pastel-y kind of color, but they will fog up the text a little bit. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you. As you can see, right here especially. Now I went over these, some of them two times, some of them three times, just to see if I could get the colors uh, brighter. But that's when I noticed that it clouds up the text. So you can only go over these one time. If you try to go over it again and correct a mistake or make it brighter, it will kind of cloud up the words, as you can see. And here's the test sheet that I went over. Zbrite, uh, Zbrite and the friction and the mild liner. You can see it didn't turn out too well. We've got the neons, which is the same as the pastel, but it's brighter. And those are awesome too, but two of them did bleed through, the purple and the blue. They didn't bleed through, I mean, they showed through. See, the others aren't really showing through, but you can barely see those two. The mild lighters and everything else actually bled through a little bit. This isn't going to be an in-depth review. I'm just going to straight up and tell you what is the best uh, highlighter for your Bible on the market. It is the Pastel Friction. The second best is the Neon Friction. And let's see the uh, difference right now. In the Thin Bible here. See if I can find something to highlight here. Let 
Let's do the first one with the pastel. And if you go over and try to correct this anywhere, it will get darker as you overlap. So I don't even do that. You got to try to be real neat with these. And I'll do the brighter neon on top here. Even where it puddles there at the end, it doesn't bleed through. That's amazing. You can see the pastel, the reason for the name, and you can see the reason for the name of the neon. As long as you go over these one time, there won't be any clouding of the text. Nothing that's noticeable. And with as bright as that, you'd think it would bleed through, but even on this, you can see some show through, but it doesn't bleed through. And when you back up, you can see just how good they work. Now that's the thing with the neons, you can see it a little bit. I mean a little bit. But with the pastels, on any color, I have not been able to see at all. So, uh, with these um, zebra liners, though, they claim that they claim that there's no bleed through, but there definitely is. As you can see there, a lot of bleed through on that. You can see the difference now with the neon being up here and the Z-Bright being down here. Because this thin Holman paper, that's going to be the test for the rest of your Bibles. And you can see that that's no good. And the mild liner, Zebra mild liner, these are supposed to be even milder. But as we're going to find out, They are mild, but they do not work good, as you can see. As you can even see some bleed through here. And then you have the green and blue on top of the pastel and the neon. You can really see the big difference. And in thicker Bible paper, these effects are going to be less noticeable. That's why your thin Holman paper is going to be the true test. I recommend the first two, the Neon and the Pastel Pilots. They are amazing. If you, if you don't even want any show through at all, go with the Pastel. If you don't care about a little see-through, the Neons will not bleed through like these other two, but they are brighter. Okay? So, um... I think I went over everything. Yeah, so um, again, this video is just to show you that these are the best highlighters that you're gonna get. Pilot Friction, either the Neons or the Pastels, but remember, get the Pastel if you're kinda OCD about seeing anything through the other side. You won't be able to see nothing. And uh, yeah. That's the video. Let's see if I can find any other examples here I've highlighted. In this Bible here, CBP New Testament, it's got thicker paper. So it's less noticeable on anything you use, but Yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up. Oh, here, here's some pink. 
This is the pastel pink. No show through at all. Doesn't even show through, guys. Not at all. Let alone bleed through. Nothing. And I'm pretty sure that the neons don't even show through in this either because of the thicker paper. But like I said, get your Holman and test it on something really thin and you'll get the idea for what's the best. But I've done all the work for you. I've bought like four different kinds of highlighters and these are the best. The neons and the pastels. Alright, thanks for watching. Bible Digger, signing out.